Hello everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to carry on with the pneumatic graph repressurized as you can see. Now one thing I have discovered is the better way to make plastic. So let's have a look at that first. So one thing I've done is as you, as you may have, I said I was going to move everything so I moved everything. What I did here is I separated the um, vortex tubes here and so this one's got a cool heat sink on it and the other side's cold. So, but it's disabled at the moment because I just simply, if you simply right click the cable here like this, it'll open it up again and start to give this heat. Uh, it needs a bit more pressure than it's got at the moment. I think it's a bit on the low side. That's 2.2 .2 bar, that's 0.1 bar, that's a bit strange. I don't think that's right. <laughs> Let's have a look in the here, just right click this. It doesn't tell me. Max pressure, oh no, it's, now it's working again. That says 0.1 bar, so this should Maybe I need to break it. Uh, I have seen this before, but if I break this, I'm going to lose the pressure. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to simply disable this one here, like this. Uh, right, okay, and then we can shift right click this, like this. And then we want to put it down so that the hot face is the one that goes this way. So you basically put it down like this. So the hot face is always the face that comes to you. So let's connect this up again and see if it actually works this time. At the moment it says 0 0.1 bar. So when I connect this in here, it should connect and should start to get pressure. It doesn't look as though it's working properly. I'll tell you what we'll have to do. I'll have to do this um, <coughs> quicker. So let's just take this out of my hot bar here and then shift right click. This one, that's going to lose pressure, as you can probably guess, and then we can put it back over here like that. At this time, it should get pressure. Yes, and now it's working, as you can see. This is going cold, and it's going cold quite quickly. So this is already at minus 176 degrees. So what we can then do is we can take a simple bucket of uh, plastic and put it in. There's 15 pieces of plastic in there. We'll take those out, and we'll take a bucket of plastic and put that into here, like molten plastic. And you see straight away we get two pieces of plastic. So you're getting a lot more return for the plastic. You don't always get two pieces. Oops. What did I just do? <laughs> that was strange. Try that again. You see you're getting two pieces of plastic. So with the higher pressure, or the colder, I mean the colder here, you get a lot more pressure. So if I break this off again, if I stand on this, it might actually take hurt. That's not hurting too much. So it, that works a lot better for plastic. You get much better return for your plastic. Oops, <laughs> didn't want to do that either. Let's just connect that back again. That's because that's losing pressure on this compressor now. Let's click that back. I wanted to shift right click this one. Oh no, I want to right click and not shift right click it. Now I think this will probably stay cold for a while and then warm up. So while it's doing that, let's just get another bucket of plastic out of here. Just get two. Put those into here. Let's do one at a time. So you get two that way, and you get another two here. So you've got four out of this. And every time you do this, this warms up a bit. So that's how to get better plastic. So now, with all this plastic sheet, what do we use it for? Let's have a look. Um, plastic. So if you have a look at the uses of plastic, you've actually got about... about well, 11, um, 41 recipes for plastic. And the one that's interesting to us at the moment will be the next level along here, and that's to make high pressure tubing. Now for that, we need basically an assembly platform. This is the easiest way to make high blood pressure tubing. So we need three pieces of plastic, two of these, and then we need these printed circuit boards. Now to make the print, printed circuit boards, we need, um, unassembled PCB. So unassembled PCBs we make from here. So we can take required machines, a program assembler, laser and a empty PCB. So there's a second way to make this as well. You can unassemble PCB. No, this is the one you need recipe for this one. Assembly control. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Or you can use a UV light box to, to do this for the first time. Because I, th I think you need circuits before you can start. So if we go back over here, yeah, let's go forward, use of that one. Ah, yes, so you can then put it through etching out so you get an unassembled PCB. Uh, and the uses of that one is to make PCB, and the use of this one is in here. 
So what we'll find is we'll need one of these for assembly drill unit. And possibly the other one, the assembly laser. And we need it for the assembly platform. So we need some circuits before we can even start. So we need to make some circuits. We also need circuits for the flux compressor, which is another generator. So let's get started with that process. So what we need for that is we need a UV box to, to actually ing engrave this. We also need, so look at this, go back to the very beginning of these, thing like this. So we can cook this or we can use a pressure chamber. So we need two redstone torches, a piece of plastic, and three gold nuggets will give us three piece, empty PCBs. So I'm going to go at those bits and I'll be back in a second. Ah, so something just blown up. I heard it when I was in there. Uh, one of the, actually just a piece of pipe, so all this is losing stuff down, so that's not too bad. I thought this would have released the pressure on here, so maybe it's not. Let's just turn this off. <laughs> Great. <laughs> what I would like to do now is I'll put the, turn them off and I can put another piece of pipe down here. I'll have to make another one of these, to be absolutely sure. I think I'll put it... I think I've got one here already prepared. Let's put it on there. So that should release pressure, and I'm not sure why it hasn't done. Because at the moment, let's have a look at this again. Using right click, receiving zero redstone, max pressure. Uh, pressure head threshold is 4.9 bar. So it should have got released its pressure at 4.9 bar on here. Maybe there's just a difference. So. Let's turn that back on. Oh, yeah, they're on. Good. Right, I'm back to get some more bits and pieces in a second. Well, what I'm going to do now is we're going to put this on here. The pressure here is still okay. It takes quite a long time for this to charge up. Um, and these are all off. Let's turn them back on again. Sorry. I meant to turn them back on. I thought they should be lit. So, what you can do is you can give this a redstone signal. Now, easy way to do that is to use a computer from uh, Computercraft. So once you put a computer against this like this, and then we can say, um, I think I need to go to Lua, for example, like this. And I want to say turtle, um, computer. Now, what do I need? Do I need a turtle? I think I need a turtle, not a computer. Let's have a look. So I oh, should be able to do um, set redstone. Ah, it's redstone, isn't it? That's it, yeah. Redstone dot set analog output. So we can set the analog output to say two. And I think I have to set which side it is. So it needs a string first of all, and then a number. So this is going to be the west face. So we can set that then to west. So we just do it like this. Invalid Lewis side. Is it not oh maybe it's back then oh maybe it's back yes right good so that's generating an output of two we should see that on here now so it's receiving a threshold of redstone value of two so that should then so the threshold is 4.9 bar i'm not sure what that means let's just change that a bit higher make it go up to say four And that's got a four. So we'll see this should this should start to go release pressure earlier on. So right, okay, so what we need to do now, you'll hear this thing's going up and opening and closing all the time. Is there anything in here? There was some iron in here. I think I had a stack of iron in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make us this. We're gonna need to make twenty-four of these. I think I've got enough pressure to get this out of here. So I saw here a recipe. Looks like it's out. Let's just double check it. Right click this. Crafted. I'm not sure what this is doing in here. That's exporting crafted. Have I got the right side? Oh, maybe I've not got the right side. Let's take these out of here like this and get rid of these. And come over here. This is probably the inside. Uh, I take because I moved things around and forgot where I put things. Let's put, try this again. And some redstone torches. Those. So, no problems, hopper status, mode. Mode should be, okay, that's fine. Mode on this one should be importing pressure, yes. 
So you just saw the pressure drop there. With a bit of luck, these will come out of these now. Where's going? 41 of the scares are those. Yes, that's better. And in here you can say how to export stuff. So export only items which have been crafted in the pressure chamber. This is used in most instances. So now we should be getting some plastic and we should get the torches next. Let's double check this on here like this. Yes, we're getting torches in here. And with enough pressure, these torches will open up in a second and then allow... It needs a lot of pressure for the, this to open up, by the way. And, uh, but it's all right at the moment, no problems. Like that. And we should see the torches coming to here. And you can see, yes, now it's starting to produce PCBs. Well, it took something out. What did it take out? Oh, nothing. So we got 24 PCBs. Fantastic. So we've got R24 um, empty PCBs. Now these do not despawn. So it's an etching chance success of zero. So what we have to do now is expose these to ultraviolet light. It doesn't do much by itself. Yeah, that's true. So let's have a look at ultra the UV box. I was just looking at the recipe for computer. So let's have a look. Um, So here we've got this UV light box. And for this, we need a PCB blueprint. Now, a PCB blueprint we can get by um, finding a villager, doing a villager trade for three emeralds. Or we can use the Amadron tablet. And there's several recipes for the Amadron tablet. Um, so we can do that. So the recipe for the Amadron tablet is plastic again. So we need plastic, a GPS tool, which was more plastic, a glass and a red that's red, so no big deal we can do, do all of that and then we also need this air canister which is also just compressed iron and, uh, and a tube so no big deal at all i'll go make that and i'll come back in a second oh, i don't think i've got enough nuggets in uh, in there so you can it's, it's it's got the pressure off now so let's have a look at what pressure we've got in here so the pressure is 4.9 bar here and it's been released so what we should really do is then turn this off but i haven't got enough space at the moment as you can see everything's a bit cramped so what we'll do we'll do it in the same way as we did it before now but before i do that i'm going to make this high advanced pressure tubing so i didn't need for this i just needed some more bits and pieces in here didn't i anyway let's get the the amadron tablet charged up so we need to ch put pressure into this with the charging station which is here so we'll give it some pressure to start with, like this. And it doesn't need too much pressure to do what we need to do, but we do need two chests. Like, like this. And that's probably got enough pressure in it now. One bar. Oh, it's going orange. So maybe that's a good sign. So a look. Holding shift says is used in order to place items of villager trading except for the delivered by drones which is way more awesome than villagers pick up and drop off locations must be specified by right clicking the inventory or tank with the tablet okay that's probably enough pressure now let's just have a look let's right click this so it says try probably have to shift right click it so there's one oh no i think that's where we have to specify the location so then we should be able to right click this and we can see place order now what's wrong a disclaimer okay and uh, information slot interaction okay. okay so we need to make various bits and pieces in here now if we go down through here oh i went too fast you can trade lots of different things in here so look so we should be able to find the next one down here do i have to click it like this it's so here we've got eight for a, a pcb blueprint now there might be another one which is cheaper i just said double check it no there isn't so we need this one so i have to place input eight pieces of eight emeralds into this tank so let's do that into this tank into this chest now can i 
Can I that open it up? Yes, it does. Good. So we can, as we put it in here, we can then specify this, and we want one of these. So we select that, and then we can. Oh yes, you right-click it to select it. That's what this means. Here. So we want one. We don't only ever need one of these. So place the order. Press Escape. So now there's a drone that will come around here in a few seconds. Doesn't take very long. There you go. It's taken away the emerald. There he goes. And he'll bring back, if he already hasn't done it, the PCB hasn't done it yet. Double check. Here he comes. And he's placed it in here. So we've now got this PCB blueprint. Um, I'll go back in a sec. Right, so the next thing we've got to do is make this UV light box up. If you haven't seen it, that's my new way. And I tidied it up a little bit. So now we can have a look at the uses of this because probably only one use of it. Let's try again. Clicks and open lot use of this one. So yes, there's only one usage and that's to make the UV light box. So we should be able to click this in here and we should... Okay, there's a redstone lamp. I didn't realise it got some. Don't forget your sunglasses. Very good. It's an achievement. So let's... Oh, I always forget. That's such a habit of going around here. So what we now have to do is we now have to connect this UV light box into this network. I forgot space, which looks like it's going to be a bit on the tight side, but I can probably put it down here. Let's try again. Like that. So this has now got some pressure in. So we can now put in here some... Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that before threshold 100% so now it, as it increases here and it'll be using pressure it it will start it'll transfer this to here so we've got a uh, one PCB then we have to etch it so we need to go and make some etching fluid now etching fluid again is matched is made in here so let's look what we need for etching fluid Okay, this one. Maybe we have to look at the bucket. Okay, so we need two gunpowder, a bucket of molten plastic, a spider iron, two rotting flesh. That's not too difficult. I might have, certainly I've got a, quite a lot of rotting flesh in here. Plenty of spiders eye and gunpowder we'll also go and get. I think I need to also get something else while I was here. It was, I'm not sure it's gold nuggets or not. I'm just going to quick sort my inventory. It's looking a bit full. And I'll put the emeralds away. We don't need those for the time being. We probably don't need the gold ingots here. Let's get rid of those. I like that. I made a quite a lot of plastic between episodes as well. So we, we don't need to wait for that stuff to come through. So now, that should possibly be etched, etching acid. So we need gunpowder rotting flesh and buckets of plastic so we'll take a stack of oh no, I don't need rotting flesh let's take a stack of that uh, and a stack of gunpowder plastic we can do no problem whatsoever we only need to make one bucket to do this of an etching fluid I don't know quite why I've got so much oh, yes I do need some more gold nuggets let's just take some gold nuggets I put those back didn't I all right there you go. <laughs> let's put the stuff into here to start with so we need omnidirectional hopper that's the export isn't it remember now I should write I probably should write a label on this one so we need one spider eye two pieces of gunpowder one bucket of plastic And we need some rotting flesh. I think it was two pieces of rotting flesh. So while that's doing that, we should, if I've got the recipe right, let's just double check the recipe, make sure I've got everything I need in there. Two spiders, I haven't got put two in. I put in one, didn't I guess? There 
There we go. So now we've got a bucket of, and that should appear here, of etching acid. And that's done. So now let's go back over here to the etching EV box. So that is 68% and it's not yet ready. It's got plenty of pressure in here so we can just have to wait a little bit longer for this to actually etch. In fact I'll do the first one and then we'll come back. So what I'm going to do is just make a little hole here and then we can put into this hole the etching acid. You don't want to tread in that, it's nasty stuff. So we won't tread in it. <laughs> and hopefully we'll wait a few more seconds for this to... How far has it gone now? 73%. Okay, I'll be back in a short while uh, when this has reached 100%. See you in a minute. Oh look, it says put in an etching tank to develop. I need to do that, I should have done that. So we need an etching tank. So we have to go and make one of these. So that's just reinforced brick slabs, reinforced brick walls, obsidian and a glass with a small fluid tank. No big deal, I'll come back in a second when we've got one of those made up. See you in a second. Right, so I made the etching tank. So we need to fill this with etching acid and insert empty PCBs which have been exposed to a UV light box. Can be heated above 50 degrees for progressive and faster prog progression, but etching acid will slowly be used when heated. I don't suppose etching, etching acid is particularly expensive. Um, extract unassembled PCBs from the side and failed PCBs from the top and bottom. Okay, so we can automate this. So let's just have a look at what it put it down. I'd quite like to put it here, but there's no space. Oh, there's of course there's space, what I'm talking about. Let's just knock this off here. In fact, I don't need to use that. I can use the, the wrench. I tend to forget to use the wrench. If I shift right click it, safer. And then we can put the etching box down here. And then, what do we do? We put into this exposed UV. Okay, so it needs some uh, etching acid. Do we right click the etching box? Or can we, shift? we can't shift it in, so we must right click it on here. Like that. Okay, so we've, so we've got one of four buckets in here. So it needs the temperature, and etch, at 26 it takes 115 seconds. Okay, that's not a big deal. So let's give it a little bit of, um, so the UV light box are now, oh, I also charged up the Amadorn tablet a bit as well. So look at the UV light box, that should now be 100%, yes it's done. So it does not despawn, so we can put the next one in here like this. Uh, and wait for that to do its business and we can put this into here so now it's starting to etch so it's three percent so we warm this up quickly what i should do is to make a um controlled valve on this so let's go and do that because that's going to while that's doing this stuff we're going to make we'll do that in fact what we can also do we can also make another couple of these so there's four buckets here, that will make four buckets of plastic. There's plenty of plastic. So we could put these into here like this. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one gone? Maybe I double clicked it. Three will do anyway. So we can put in one, two, three, four of those. Four gunpowder. And we can put in four rotting flesh. Well, but to look, we'll end up with some. Yeah, so three buckets in there. Oh, we'll probably need two more in that case, and don't I? Because I didn't count those right. So it's two per. So another two of these. Another two gunpowder. And another two rotting flesh. So what's going to come in next? We have to wait a few seconds. Just got the rotting flesh in next. And outside here, I think there's probably some stuff. Oh, we got two buckets already. And another PCB board. I think the PCB boards are going in and out all the time. I'm not sure what I've done wrong here. I'll have to fix that over there. 13. Have we got them all out now? 
Yes, we have. Good. So let's take the bucket of ancient acid out uh, and drop that on the floor because I've got no space. Let's just take this and put the weight that one so we can get this etching acid into here like this. Try again. So I'll put that in over here. And that one. Let's have a look at this now. Probably I'm going to use that to use this. Yeah, wrong. Let's try using the sword. Etching process completed. So now we've got our first PCB. Fantastic. So let me just sort my inventory. And I've still got another bucket of etching. So I think that should be able to go. Oh, I pressed X, didn't I? Mm, created a, a waypoint. Let's get rid of that waypoint. X, temporary waypoint. Just delete it. So this should be now full. Let's just. Oh, I've just done it again. I'm pressing plus, and I know why because it used to be the key I used to use for, to um, sort my inventory. So let's just click this one here like that. We got that one there, so we should have those buckets. Good. That's a bit better. A bit more space. So now this one is still working away. Now you can put upgrades into this let's go to upgrades and the upgrades will probably be just volume upgrades uh, dispenser upgrades so auto ejects and speed upgrades maximum of 10 um, and security upgrades and the upgrades are really good so let's have a look at upgrades well <laughs> up didn't do very well with that one They've got all of these different upgrades. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's, why it's doing me a guard drone as upgrade, but I think you can, because you can upgrade it. Now, speed upgrades, let's have a look at that, at this one here. So it's basically sugar and lubricant uh, and lapis. And it's also got something, upgrade matrix, which is, okay. So an upgrade matrix is presumably fat better. So what do we do? Water plus one lapis gives you four upgrade matrixes in a therm thermonumatic processor with two bar that's actually sort of nicer isn't it because you're only using one lapis but we aren't really too short of material so maybe we'll use straightforward lapis and get this going a little bit faster but lubricant now a lubricant bucket you can't click on uh, so we have to look at it here now lubricant is made from i'm not sure what Diesel and redstone will give us lubricant. Diesel we've got. Now, as you can see, if you wanted to get more diesel and uh, like double the quantities of diesel, you'd have just two refineries. So with three refineries, you get two. With four refineries, you get two. With two refineries, you get four. Then you get LPG. And kerosene you can also use with a thermonumatic processing plant will give us gasoline the gasoline itself will give us LPG with some pressure pressure you can also get it from the Amadron tablet with one emerald that looks like it's the other way around actually I think it's that will give you an emerald so now what we do next is we have to make our that's, this does take quite a long time so I'm going to make some of those uh, upgrades up and we can make 10 and I'll see in a few seconds when I've got 40 upgrades okay I'm back this time I've got a second um, pneumatic I haven't built them yet actually what I was going to do was to use this one we'll put this one down here I think I need to have in fact I don't need to do this. Do I can break this and take the fluid out of it? Let's just do that. We'll just put another one in its place to make this. Um, these upgrade matrixes. So we use this one. Don't need to do anything. Then we can. Yes, that's great. So we can just need some buckets of water, and I'll quickly make a. I've got one bucket of water here. I should have two actually. Let's just make a, a quick infinite water supply here, so I don't have to go running around too far. Plenty of water over here, so we should get a second bucket. Like that. 
So we need a bucket of water for this process. And we need to heat this up. Now this might not work, same problem as before I guess. Let's have a look at this. So we've got a bucket of water. So we need to put the yes, that's right, we need to put this down here like that. It doesn't seem to matter which direction it goes in. And then we can put in some water into this. Like that. And then we can put some lapis in. We need ten. That'll give us forty. One more, I think. No. No, eight more. Right, okay. So we can put some lapis into this like this. And then it needs some pressure. And it also needs some heat. Uh, I think it needs heat. Maybe not. Let's see if this will work. Where's the wrench here? So right click this. Oh. Maybe it's the other side. I need to right click. Okay, now that's definitely right clicked here. That's, oops, turned it around. Didn't want to do that. Go up, turn everything around. Right. In fact, I don't want this one connecting into here at all. So let's remove this. I can't have to right click it. Okay, I have to break it in that case. Sounds like it's leaking f gas. Probably is leaking gas. Turn it around again. There we go. Leaking air. So there we've got, now we've got this. So we've got four of these. Okay, so it's one bucket for four. So we just need to right click this with the water. It fills up ten times. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we should have now Oops, I have to be careful of what I use to open this up, don't I? So really, there we've got our 40, and we should have one bucket's worth of water in here. So we'll just make another, put another one in here, just to empty it out, so we can reuse this for something else. We've got 44 of these. So I'll be back in a second. Now we've got those, we can easily make the speed upgrade. Sugar, obviously, is no problem, because we've got all of that sugar cane from before. And I think all that sugar cane is in here. No, it isn't. None of it's in there, but there'll be plenty around. Oh, I know where it is, actually. It's in the dank. There's so much of it, I had to put it in the dank. So now it's construction. Well, let's just change the mode to bag. And then we should find in here, yeah. How many have we got? 9,200. <laughs> 9, well, 9, Let's just take a stack of that. Convert that into sugar, because we're going to need lots. And then from that sugar, we can then make those upgrades, speed upgrades. No, we can't, because <laughs> I need the bucket of lubricant. Right, that's no problem. We'll make a bucket of lubricant. So how much lubricant is this recipe? So that's one bucket of diesel gives us one bucket of lubricant with one redstone. Okay. So this time we need buckets of... Let's just take one bucket out of here. And then we need some redstone. How much redstone have I got with me? Ten. That'll do to start with, will it? That would give us a maximum of ten buckets. That's okay. We've got plenty of storage. So we'll take the the diesel out of the tank and put it into the pneumatic processing plant. So diesel is the bottom one. Like this. And then we can go along here and put that into there. Put into here the redstone. This is one to open it up. Put some redstone in there. So it's got one bucket. Now what does it need? Problems. Apply more heat. Okay. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Let's just get the wrench into the hand. I think if we right click that one. Yep. Now it's not getting, it's not heating up as you can see. So again, it's the same problem. So this is one bar here, but this is five bar here. So I just have to break this block here and then put it back in again as quickly as I can, of course. Because it should have, oh, it doesn't lose pressure because it's connected to that. Yeah, that's right. And then we can connect in this one. And there you see it's gone red and this is starting to cook. So while that's cooking, let's get another bucket of uh, diesel and put that into there. I 
think we're, I'm not sure how many we've got in here now, so look. Six buckets of lubricant, and what's it complaining about? Problems? No room in the output. No, it can't be right. The machine is poorly insulated. Okay, that was bad. At least we can empty it from here. Oh, it's got no more um, diesel in it. Okay, yes, of course. So we need to, Oh, of course. What am I doing? So we need four of those. One, two, three, four. And that should now... We should be able to take out of here some lubricant. Great. Born slippy. So with this lubricant, and I need a probably probably could do with a crafting table around here. Let's just put let's quickly get a crafting table. I'll have some wood in one of these chests. Oh, I've got a crafting table now. Let's let's just put that over here somewhere so we can make it up. Speed upgrades. Fantastic. So we've got that. We get our bucket back, so we can get another one of those. Don't feel like waiting. Quite right. <laughs> now this is going to be very hot 460 degrees that's very hot so now we should have another one of these we can start to put the speed and grit upgrades into this one like that so that is now 95 percent so it should be going up faster so let's quickly make another speed upgrade in fact i'll make the speed upgrades and i'll see you in a few seconds right now i've actually got too many in speed upgrades as you get too many speed up the pressure's dropped which you may have noticed so let's just halve the number of that and so the pressure should increase let's have a look pressure is going down so we've got enough fuel has it run out of fuel ah oh, we've run out of fuel <laughs> typical i wonder if i've got any coal in one of my bags um if i have it will be in the dank Yes, I've got stacks of coal, uh, but I'm running out of inventory space, as you can see. In fact, I need three stacks of this, don't I? Let's, let's put these in. So what I want to do fairly quickly is to change the, the way I'm powering up this thing as well. It's, it's not efficient at the moment, but it works for the time being until we get a good start. Right, so those three are now running, so the pressure should be increasing again. Let's have a look. Where am I? The UV box. Oh yes, I want to turn this off, don't I? I'll have a look at that maybe next time. So what we've got here, we've got not enough pressure yet. So look, is the pressure going up? It's sort of going up, so we need to reduce this by one more speed upgrade, see if that makes a difference. There we go. Now it's green. So four is the maximum for the amount of pressure I've got air I'm giving it at the moment. So how fast does this one work? 63, 64, 65. So it's a lot faster. So I've now got three of these. So let's put these into the etching acid over here. Now don't forget this is heated up, I think. Uh, so we'll put those into there. That two. What's it say? 4%. Did I warm this up? No, I didn't warm it up. It was this one I was warming up over here, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to finish off this and make a PCB. So let's have a look at the use of unassembled PCBs. We need to make some capacitors and some transistors. Now, capacitors are slime balls, gold and plastic sheet will make one. So we need... So quite actually quite a reasonable amount of gold for this so let's go and get that and also well actually i'll check the other recipe while i'm here and i'll come back with some materials ready for doing that oh by the way i've changed this to all i should have removed that because uh, crafted it all will remove all items out of here so if you get excess in you can do it that way so wait for these to come back in again because they're not going to come i have to put these back out so there we go let's take those out of here and then put them back into here so we should have some uh, and the other one was three pieces of gold uh, redstone and a um, plastic sheet so that should now come in here and we should start to get things being made and I think the problem was because it was a I was using the wrong recipe things were not working properly so that should come into here now don't see it so look 
Oh, not enough pressure. We've got to wait for the pressure to come up. How are we doing for pressure? I will also disconnect this as well because this does use a lot of pressure. So let's just remove that. It usually takes up a lot of pressure, the, uh, these vortex tubes. So let's have a look at this now. Pressure's good. 1.3 bar. It's going to take a few seconds to do this. I'll come back when it's we've got those bits coming out. See you in a second. So I managed to get four transistors and six capacitors. Capacitors are actually cheaper because I only use two gold nuggets. Uh, and I, one for each, basically. Each leg is a gold nugget. Transistors use three. So now let's make up the PCBs. I've got the use of this one. And we can then make our first printed PCB. There we go. What achievement get now the fun starts, exactly. This is where this is where Numetograph becomes very interesting. So I should have some more in here, like three. Uh, these are already, but I've got an inventory space. Let's just make a quick bit of inventory space here. I don't need the redstone at the moment. I don't need the slime balls. The slime balls I've got no shortage of supply of those, and I didn't show you how to do that. Or maybe I did, I can't remember. So let's have a look at other ones of that recipe. Oops, no, I just pressed then. That came up. That's interesting. I didn't see that before. Recipe. So we've got two PCBs. And the uses of these is where we can start to make things like drones, um, these assembly units. And I need to make one for that, two for that one, three for this. I need about four before we can start. No, I need four plus this one. I need six to make the assembly controller. So I'll prepare those for next time. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, next time we're gonna, um, I'll make a few more PCBs between episodes so we can start to do some more advanced stuff. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.